Kevin. I'm a retired firehouse cook. And today my wife asked me to make tiramisu brownies. Uh, she is a big lover anything tiramisu, besides me, of course. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, subscribing. I'm starting gluten-free recipes, and I made a bread, and I've gotten a lot of great comments. So uh, keep them coming. Let me know what you think of this recipe. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm really wanting to grow my channel. Let's get started. And I have 10 tablespoons of butter melting down. This recipe calls for a box brownie and I just don't want to use a box. It's so easy to do it uh, fresh that uh, I'm just going to do my recipe of a brownie. So we're going to let this melt. All right, the butter is melted. And in here I have 200 grams of sugar and 70 grams of cocoa. And in my descriptions, I'll have it written down uh, what it is in cups. I'm just used to using grams. And so I'm going to stir this together. And you can just smell the cocoa just getting stronger. I just think it's so much better than a brownie mix or in the box. It does not take long. And I'm just kind of pushing down all the little lumps of the cocoa. Okay, I'm going to put two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two. one teaspoon of salt so I'm going to turn off the flame get my oven out of the way oh, oven. get my little cooktop out of the way now in here I have one and a third cup of coffee and I am going to put in just a third of a cup right now and this is just cooled down coffee room temperature coffee however you want to phrase it and this will also cool down the um, sugar and cocoa butter mixture so when I put my eggs in there it will not cook the eggs Put 60 grams or one third cup of oil. And then I'm going to put two room temperature eggs. By the time you do all that, um, it's cold enough that uh, it's not going to hurt the eggs or cook the eggs. I want 70 grams of flour. I'm going to put that in. I have all that mixed together. I'm going to put in half a cup of chocolate chips and we're going to pour the batter in that all right I'll be back when I pull them out 
The brownies came out in 25 minutes. They were just, they were done. There's a little bit of uh, brownie on the uh, toothpick, but that's perfect because it's cooking right now as it's cooling off. One block, 226 grams, eight ounces. I have a quarter cup, 50 grams of powdered sugar. I'm gonna mix that together. All right, I'm gonna put in a teaspoon. Okay, two teaspoons, and maybe a teaspoon and a half of almond extract. And I'm gonna fold in eight ounces of whipping cream or cool whip, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to pour the rest of that coffee in the bowl. Okay, I'm going to put half of it on top. the lady fingers in the coffee. I just spin them around real quick. I don't want them to soak too much. Okay. All right, then you put the remainder on top. Refrigerator for about six hours. And we're going to cut a piece off. Let's give it a try. The lady fingers are nice and soft. Wow. I tell you what. It tastes like a tiramisu with a brownie at the end. Great flavor. The brownies taste fantastic. Give this a try. It is really good. A brownie tiramisu. Enjoy.